did not get her information, and prior to that, I think it was three years prior to that we had actually heard from her. So if anybody has that and can share it, we'd appreciate it, because as of now, we have not seen or heard from her again.
did my duty and I turned in what I had heard and saw. It was up to them to do whatever else they watched. So you know what, since I followed the law, I'd like to know why nobody up here does this. You need to find out, and here's my thing, I want to see a permit, a valid permit that shows that that gentleman out there can continue to cut trees because you know what, I don't see it. Thank you. Anybody else would like to speak? Okay, no, I think we're taking a motion to adjourn. Hi. Jeff Carroll, 6040 Rock Line. Yeah, probably asking me about the bucket of tree problem here. Uh, so he blows a permit out, and he pays and closes it out until he's got to pay, cut 84 trees. And you still cut trees every single day. Why are you going to have everyone to have a tree permit to begin with? How can you enforce the law with some and not the others? Mike, to the chair of Mr. Chairman, and I assume like I've answered this question repetitively. I'm not going to keep going back and forth with this um, you know, issue. It's not his property. It's not their property. Um, the, the, the permit is not closed. You've been told that, I don't know, a half dozen times. Oh. Um, and I'm not going to engage in the in the personal vendetta, sir. So, you know, thank you. Okay. You guys cut trees down. How do you know how many is cutting now? Mr. Sherwood, you have to come to the okay. Mayor, do you want to answer? No, sir. Oh, thank you. Sure.